Well, welcome back guys, it's Madstar with another video. Today I'm gonna to be revealing one of my favorite SPACs and my position in it. It is Forest Road Acquisition Corporation, ticker symbol FRX. This is a new SPAC with a lot of potential and in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys what this pack is about and my a bit about my entry price and what price I think this pack could possibly go to in the near future and where potentially I could be selling out on this pack and exactly why I'm so, so bullish on this pack. I'm going to be talking about its management team and the companies this pack is going to be merging with. And it's not one company, it's two companies. So I'm going to be giving a detailed um, portfolio on the two companies that this pack will be merging with and more to come in this video. Thank you guys for getting me to 3,400 subscribers. It's been an honor. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel for new videos and for new videos on SPACs. I love making videos on SPACs. Uh, they're pretty cool asset classes. They are kind of getting saturated, but I still think if you spot the right SPAC, you can get a lot of gains, just like Lucid Motors, and that is at 60 now. So possibly FRX could go to 60 as well. I'm gonna be explaining why. So let's get right into the video. So the first company it's going to be merging with is Beachbody and the other one is Mix Fitness. So which one do I like more? Well, I like both, but uh, technically speaking, I do like Mix Fitness and that's because of its competitive advantage to Peloton. So uh, if you guys don't know what Peloton is, it's a bike maker at, uh, for homes and it IPO'd recently one year ago and Kathy Woods has been behind this stock and the stocks had a run up of 453% and has a market cap of 41 billion, which makes Mix Fitness look like an absolute joke. Um, it's making the same sort of bikes. It has even a tablet on the bikes. And um, if I can find the details for the bikes, it gives an in uh, detailed pricing uh, compared to other uh, bike makers. Let's see if we can find this. Um, so I can't find this right now, but I'm pretty sure it's much cheaper than Peloton. Um, let's go to the financing page. Uh, I should have had this before. I'm sorry, guys. But okay, I can't find exactly. But if you can see, it's around $1,300. And I'm pretty sure Peloton's like $2,000, $5,000. So it is targeting a bit more less less rich people, I would say. And that is a good thing in my opinion because you should have a product for each tar target market. And essentially, it's basically the same thing. It's a bike with a tablet on it and you can watch stuff on it. So that's pretty interesting. Um, I like the bike and Peloton's done good. And Peloton's having some issues actually supplying the demand. The demand they're seeing is insane. It's taking around two months for them to deliver a single bike. So that's where I think mixed fitness comes to in place and Beachbody, it's existed since 1998, CEO by uh, Carl Dykler, and it's from Santa Monica. Basically, it's a fitness company that makes on-demand videos uh, for people to follow. Uh, as you can see, this guy was really fat there, and now he's not that fat, and this woman was really fat, and she lost around 64 uh, LBS uh, in weight in uh, half a year, so that's pretty cool and they have some really nice programs. I've heard of the 21 day fix is quite famous and these programs are really good. So just think about it, it's it's like a Netflix subscription, but it's for getting fit. Isn't that cool? Doesn't anyone wanna get fit? I mean, I wanna get fit, I wanna get a six pack. Where would I go? I wanna get something like this. Uh, Cause once you pay something, I think in my opinion, once you pay for something, you're more likely to take it seriously and try get the six pack. And once you get the six pack, you're gonna be getting, I have a questionnaire here, you're gonna be getting a good experience from the company giving a good review out. So that's where I think that these companies are really, really great. So now let's talk a little bit about the valuation. I found this on StockTwits. Um, some famous companies they're comparing it to is Fubo TV and Peloton and Carlots and XL Flea and Clover Health. As you can see, they're having 863 million combined um, mil, 
revenue and the market capitalization is 2.9 billion uh, that was at share price 10 right now if it's at 15 uh, i'm in a profit uh it's at 2.9 billion so let's let's say it's around 4 billion right now well that's still one tenth of the price of peloton it, and if mixed fitness can be a great a competitor to peloton then i think that it should be worth around 20 billion which is around 5x from here and do you mind there's also beach body which has existed for 22 years and this pack has lebron james shaquille o'neal arnold schwarzenegger uh, I hope I said his name properly and they're all on the board and they will be getting celebrity endorsements from Michael Jordan and a bunch of people and when the CEO was asked why do you want to take the company uh, with the SPAC route was because of the success of DraftKings. So I think this is amazing. Uh, bikes will deliver with, within two to three weeks instead of months with peloton uh, and bikes have great reviews and are much cheaper ceo of body uh, beach body said they want to be peloton for the masses so they really want to be making it cheaper and that's what i really like about this and they also have one really cool person they have kevin mayer who is a ceo of tiktok and the ex ceo of disney so having such an important leadership uh I, i'm gonna hold on to this stock actually and let me just search up FRX stock one one last time and to see where it went to. So on Friday, people did take some of the profits, as you can see. Okay, this is the wrong FRX, guys. I'm sorry. So this is the right FRX. Here we go. So people did take some of the profits uh, late Friday, as you can see, it went all the way to 1648 and closed around like just dipped before the market closed. Uh, I did not take my profits. I'm still holding to this stock. And I'm frankly not gonna sell the stock until it reaches around 20 to 30, and then I'll consider. Honestly, one year target, it's an easy 40 plus in my stock. It's gonna be the next Lucid Motors. Uh, in my opinion, I may be wrong. I am wrong a lot of times, but this one, I have a great feeling this one could go towards the 40s, maybe 60s. As you can see, Lucid Motors has done that right in front of my eyes. I did not pick up Lucid when it was at the 12, 13 ranges. And that's why I'm really sorry. But now I'm happy because I've spotted the next SPAC, big SPAC, and that's FRX, which will go pretty high in my opinion. I really like this company and a strong leadership. And they have also filed FRX 2. And that will be with the same management team with Kevin Mayer, Shaquille O'Neal. I will also be eyeing just to buy it, even if they don't have a deal. So that's my consensus about frx back and where i think it will be going in the near term uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions let me know down below in the comment section